Hi there! Welcome to section 50 of my Swift UI course. Today we're going to learn how to implement animated assets in a Lottie format. So what is Lottie? Well, it's a new format of animated assets that is made in After Effects, which means the designer can create it from a different application. And just like a movie or a GIF, you can implement that in your app. So and animations like this one would be very complex to do in code. So instead, you download the JSON format and you implement that like a movie file or a GIF file. And on top of that, you have access to so many animations out there, free and paid, from a number of websites such as Lottie Files and Shape.so. These animations can be customized in terms of colors, and just like a video, you can play and pause any way you wish. It's a library created by Airbnb, and it's very easy to install. You just need to get the link from GitHub, and then we're going to install that through Swift Package Manager. So before we start, you're going to have to open the assets, and you're going to find the Lottie folder where you're going to find two files in JSON format, and you're going to drag and drop this next to, let's say, the assets catalog or work sound folder. And you're going to make sure to copy items if needed, create groups, and add targets to design code, and then finish. So you should see a folder like this one. Now to install the library, we're going to go to File, Swift Packages, Add Package Dependency. This is where we're going to enter the URL from GitHub. Click Next, and then leave it like this. So we're going to get the latest version, and then Next. In the next screen, we have Lottie. So we're going to finish this, and voila, it's installed. There is also another step that is necessary as of now, because there is a compatibility issue. We're going to need to go to the Xcode project and click on Design Code Target. We're going to go to Build Settings. And from here, we're going to search dead code. Where it says dead code stripping, we're going to have to change this to no. This should solve an issue where the app crashes when you run the Lottie animation. It is possible that in the future, it's going to be fixed and you won't need this step anymore. Once that's done, we can go ahead and create a Lottie view file right next to blur view. So right click on blur view and click on new file, Swift UI view, Lottie view. Just like the blur view, we're going to create a UI view representable so that we can use a normal Swift code. First of all, I'm going to delete the content. Then I'm going to type struct Lottie view colon UI view representable curly braces. Now we need to specify what kind of object that we're dealing with. So let's use the suggestion from Swift. We're going to click on fix. It's going to ask for the type alias UI view type, we're going to set to UI view. And then we're going to do command B to make sure that we're rebuilding and we have a different error, new errors. Now we're going to click again. And let's click on fix again. It's going to fill the missing two functions. One is make UI view and the other one is update UI view. Let me just put this at the top and fix the spacing. Voila. One last thing is that we have to specify the context. So instead, we're going to type UI view representable context, then pointy brackets inside it, we're going to put Lottie view. Make sure the L is in cap. And then we're going to do the same for update UI view for context. So UI view representable context, pointy brackets, and we're going to set the Lottie view inside. Now for the content of update UI view, we can just put nothing. And for make UI view, this is where we're going to use normal Swift to render or Lottie file. First of all, let's set an empty UI view. So let view is equal to UI view parentheses, and we can use a frame. So the frame is going to be zero. We're basically creating a rectangle with a frame of zero in terms of width, height, X and Y position. 
And then to make this function happy, since we're supposed to return a UI view, we're going to return the view that we just declared. Up until now, this is just filler code that has nothing to do with Lottie. Now it's time to use Lottie as the content. First, we're going to import Lottie. Then we're going to create an animation view from the library. So right after let view, I'm going to set let animation view camel case is equal to animation view with the A in cap parentheses. Then I'm going to set my animation file name. So let animation is equal to capital A animation dot name parentheses. And inside the parentheses, we're going to put quotes loading, which is the name of the file. So if you go to the folder, you're going to find this is the name of the file. You don't need to put .json at the end. Then we're going to specify the animation for the animation view that we have declared. So animation view in camel case, so the one that we declared, dot animation is equal to animation in lowercase. Now we're going to make sure that our animation is going to scale properly. So animation view dot content mode is equal to dot scale aspect fit. Finally, we're going to play it. So animation view dot play parentheses. Now we're going to deal with constraints since this is different from Swift UI. You have to specify the constraints so that it takes the full width and height of the container. So let's do animation view dot translate auto resizing mass into constraints. Just use the auto completion and then is equal to false. Before we set the constraints, we're going to have to insert our animation view into the view that we're returning. So right after we're going to do view dot add sub view and we're going to type animation view. Finally, let's deal with the constraints. So NS layout constraint dot activate. We can just use the auto completion. And here we're going to set the constraints. So let's press enter. And instead of NS layout constraint, I'm just going to press enter. And then I'm going to put the width and height constraints. So animation view dot width anchor dot constraint. And here we're going to select the one that says equal to NS layout dimension. So instead of NS layout dimension, we're going to set view dot width anchor. For the multiplier, we don't need it. I'm going to have to do the same for the height. So comma after that and animate view dot height anchor dot constraint use equal to and instead of NS layout dimension is going to be view dot height anchor and we can delete multiplier. Now you can see that this is a lot of code to just deal with the constraints. And this is the most basic constraints that you can have. So thanks to Swift UI, we don't have to deal with this anymore. We can just use stacks and spacer and padding. The good news is that you can just use all of this code as is to run your Lottie file. We're just going to need to specify the asset name later on. So let's create a loading view where we're going to run our loading animation. Right on LottieView.Swift, we're going to right click new file Swift UI view and loading view. And let's replace the text element by a Lottie view parentheses. And then let's set the frame to width 200 height 200. Let's run this command option P. We're going to need to play and there you go, it's running the Lottie animation. Eventually, we're going to have to deal with multiple Lottie files, which means that we should make the file name customizable. So we're going to go back to Lottie view. And at the top, right after type alias, we're going to type var file name of type string. And then we're going to replace the quotes by the file name. 
like this, we're making this customizable. So we can go back to loading view and then call again or Lottie view, but this time parentheses with a file name instead of strings, quotes, loading. One important thing is that it is important that the Lottie view is inside a container such as a VStack. This is essential when we're gonna run the loading view on top of the login view. All right, so let's go to login view and implement that loading animation. First of all, we're gonna need to set up a state for is loading. So state var is loading is equal to false. Then we're gonna summon that loading view on top of our login view UI. So let's scroll at the very bottom, right after on tab gesture and before the three ending curly braces. We're gonna type if is loading then so curly braces we're going to load loading view parentheses now we're going to go to the button action so when the user press on login which is right here and after i'm going to set self dot is loading is equal to true so let me play this and when i press you can see that it's running, but we have the alert message at the same time. Before getting into an API call, we can fake it by using a delay. So what we're going to do here, we're going to set this patch queue dot main dot async after, and it's going to be a dispatch time. So for deadline, we're going to put dot now parentheses plus two, so two seconds, and then execute. We're going to press enter. And then we're going to put self dot is loading is equal to false. Also, we're going to move show alert right after the two seconds. Cool. So let's see the result of our work today. We're going to press login and you can see the loading animation shows. And after two seconds, the loading disappears and the alert pops up. We've learned a powerful technique today. You're going to be able to use from thousands of Lottie animations out there. In the next session, we're going to learn how to create a success sequence animation using Lottie when the user has successfully signed in. So I hope to see you in the next session.